So you have a Green Mountain Grill now, and now you're kind of looking at maybe I wouldn't be able to control this remotely. And the nice thing about them is if you got the Wi-Fi model at least, you can control this with a smartphone uh, from here locally or anywhere. Now today we're actually going to be looking at point-to-point -point connection. So we're going to download an app on our phone and we're going to connect directly to this grill so we can actually monitor it from our iPhone, or from, or in this my, my case, an iPhone, from a smartphone. But there is a, an Android app as well. So let's get started. Now the very first step we're really going to want to do is kind of twofold. One, you have to download the app to your phone, which is just Green Mountain Grills, just search it in there. The second thing, and actually if you go through the instruction manual, there will be a, a QR code. The second thing is we're actually going to want to have the grill on, right? So there has to be power to the grill for it to actually operate, and for us to actually be able to control it, or connect to it even. So it's got electricity. I'm not, don't even have it powered on for the grill, for the actual grill itself. Just the control panel itself, we need to have that on. Now the second thing we're going to want to do is locate the, the, the password for the Wi-Fi. Now, it's actually on the back of this panel. We're not going to come remote, remove the panel. Let's... No, I'm not going to do that. However, they also put it on the back of the grill, so I'm going to show you that. Back of every Green Mountain Grill is this little uh, green guy right here. Now, the serial number in that, that printed, mine's 102028222. That is my serial number for my grill, also the Wi-Fi password for this grill. So, we're going to use that as the Wi-Fi password to connect to this bad boy. So here is my iPhone, and what I'm going to first do is I'm actually going to go to settings here on my phone. Go to my, there's the Green Mountain Grill under Choose Network. So Green Mountain Grill, there it is. And now we're going to put that password in here. That was 102028222. I believe my memory serves me correctly. Let's see if it connects properly. Now obviously in your grills, it may take a moment for this to boot up, so you have to give it a few minutes. We I took a few minutes just locating and, and filming, so give it a second to connect. Or a minute, I should say, to make sure it actually does connect. No internet connection, but I am connected now to the grill. So now I'm going to open up the app, which I just downloaded. This is the last app I downloaded there. Uh, we, okay, yep, I accept. Sure. We're going to hit the connect button up here, and it's going to connect to the grill. Green Mountain connect, connected. Happy grilling. So now we are connected directly to this grill. We are able to control it with my phone. Uh, in this case, you can do everything from powered on. So here's the power. Would you like to turn the grill on? We can hit confirm and it should automatically turn on. And you can hear it over there turning on. And then we can actually set temperature and everything. But we're gonna wait for it to turn on to get any of that. So you can see here, I haven't done anything else, but it's smoking pretty good. So she's kicking up, she's on. Uh, looks like now it's telling me the temperature, it's almost at 50 degrees. It's, it's only uh, 39 degrees outside. But. Uh, we're still on the app here, so I'm going to bring you back over to the app. Oops, sorry if this make, if, it, if we get a lot of glare on this. We're going to go ahead and set the temperature of the grill. I want to get this actually up to 165 because I'm going to be doing some ribs. So we just cl click, let me, I'll show you that again. We just click on the temperature, the green temperature here, that's the grill temperature. I'm going to set 165, hit confirm. It's going to come back at me and, and set, tell me that it's set to 165. And now I can just go ahead and let it go ahead and uh, get warmed up and get up to temperature. Uh, so that's all we do. Now in here in the app as well, we can set timers. Uh, looks like there's a flashlight mode even that'll turn your flash on your phone. Look at that. That's kind of cute. I don't have to open up the standard one that comes with the phone. But that's how it works. We're going to give this a try too while it's actually getting set up here. Um, down here under settings, we are in point-to-point -point mode. There is Wi-Fi mode setting. We're going to click on that. I'm able to perform that action while the grill is on. So if you ever actually want to change it over to server mode, you have to do it while the grill is off. I'm going to dismiss that. There's an update in the grill too. That's probably going to be done while the grill is off as well. That's all stuff in here. Profiles, you can actually use profiles for specific items. Uh, it looks like you can even edit those or create your own prof profile as well. So that's kind of cool. I might do that for my ribs. Uh, create profile. Profile name. Let's call it ribs. An effective spell it would probably help. Um, add a step, real temperature. Or if I remember exactly what I was going to do, it I was going to do 165 for so many hours. And I can't remember that. You can look. Let's just say 170. Confirm for let's say 170 for two hours, and then we'll go up to 225. Oops, 225 for two hours. I'm not saying this is an actual recipe because it isn't, 
But you can see that I can actually make my own thing and it'll actually do it all and, and let me know along the way what's going on with it. So I apologize for the glare issues. There we go, that's probably a lot easier to see there. You can see the different steps there. Now the cool thing about having that Wi-Fi server mode is that I can walk inside and I can check the temperature of this grill at any time. Now you can also see there's a second temperature setting for the sensor and that's actually the sensor you plug in and you plug into your meat. If you're actually doing a cook that actually is using a sensor, that probe will also show up the display of the temperature of the probe on the app and you can also set that temperature so it'll alert you if the food reaches a specific temperature as well. So lots of cool things you can do with it and I hope that everything made sense and I hope that you could actually see at least I understand it's not too sunny out but there's still glare issues of course with using any kind of glass device. Uh, but if uh, you can't see anything, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, post those below in the message section. Uh, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Otherwise, we'll see you on a future video.